welcome back to the workshop enjoy your stay please comment below um, add your two cents worth or two pennies worth depending on where you originate from I guess um, this is about the little spin index or spindex converting from this particular version as 5c converting that to ER32 and clearing up some clearance issues that people normally complain about so let the fun begin uh, I'll show you exactly uh, what we've done these are all standard components off the shelf uh, not even expensive 5c collet and the one problem that people complain about is the distance from where the collet ends which would be approximately there for the 5c collet to this face over here which is the front of the index plate and normally you need very long tools if you want to use this in the mall because if you don't you have clearance issues so to the rescue 5c to ER32 collet the ER32 collets or the ER series of collets by any way would be a much better style of collet than the 5c as the 5c is what I call a single sided clamping collet that only clamps right in the front um, the collet closes in a cone or taper fashion versus the ER which is a concentric clamping collet uh, much much improved gripping uh, with much less force applied and whatever you add in there if it does have a slight taper or if it's not the exact size that's designed for that specific 5c collet you will get the part that you clamp or the bit that you clamp in the collet to uh, move around uh, it'll normally swivel around the front uh, of the collet where it's being clamped since the back of the collar doesn't um, squeeze down equally with the front the ER collets don't suffer from that so two things that we do with a, this particular adapter first one is if we install it you can see that there would be okay I'm not gonna get it in completely now but that is now the overhang that you have instead of the clamping or the part being right at this front edge you now have this much stick out uh, that's probably a good two inches or so which means that the clearance that you have for the tool uh, this will easily or should rather uh, far uh, have a far better chance of clearing um, your quill from your drill or um, the milling machine so from this angle you can see instead of having approximately one inch clearance you've now got about three inches worth of clearance to the front of the nut and on the side it's obviously exactly the same uh, this is now fully seated it is tightened down in the back so that is a nice little uh, solution for the perpetual problem of not having enough clearance for the milling machine and to boot you get a far better holding or clamping system um, you also get the same adapter for the uh, various spindle sizes uh, R8 is an example so for my system I've got MT2 for my Mayford lathe I'll have this in the spindexer um, my cutter grinder um, the milling um, bit uh, end mills, ball mills etc for the cutter grinder I'm going to build an adapter to do exactly the same and use ER collets instead of the decal type collet and for my mill I've got an ER32 to R8 adapter so yeah easy I think quite a nice solution thank you very much